What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So this past weekend, we set up at the Super Jersey Comic Expo. And I got to tell you, it was a fantastic show, not only to sell at, but to be at. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, we had the opportunity to vend at the Jer uh, Super Jersey Comic Expo in uh, Holmdel, New Jersey. And I got to tell you, fantastic experience. Uh, kudos to the promoters. They did a fantastic job. Um, over 2,000 people through the door. They had some great artists set up there. You had your locals like Keith Williams and Scott Hanna. But... You also had like Rick Leonardi was there and Tom DeFalco was there on top of other content creators. Uh, you had people selling your Funko Pop. Uh, the lines were big. I, a matter of fact, you know what? Let me show you what this looked like and then you guys be the judge.
All right, so you know what? Fun show, really well set up. There was a food court not far by, an ice cream store, little little uh, shops to go get your snacks and everything. So it was the perfect setting with fantastic parking. Uh, it's the Bell Works in Homedale, right near the PNC Center. And uh, I highly recommend this. I will definitely set up at that location again uh, if they're willing to have me at their show again. Um, but not only did I get to meet a lot of people from the community and shout out to everybody that stopped by, uh, people from the YouTube community, people from the Instagram community, and a bunch of people from the WhatNot community, which uh, it's just great to meet faces from WhatNot because I don't get to see their faces as much. And now to put names to faces, as I always say, awesome, awesome. Uh, make sure you're watching Thursdays at uh, Thursdays at 7 o'clock. I am part of the... Uh, what not crew myself very gary depressible defects and then davis rider goes on after that matter of fact this saturday we're gonna have the defective collective uh going on on very gary channel i'll be there with them bringing some fire books as usual you know we just try and make that a great show for you guys you're not gonna want to miss it go bookmark that show but like i said i got to walk around this time and do a little bit of shopping i think i did some great Found some great, great books, and I want to share them with you, but let me know what you guys think. Um, so uh, these books came from my man Lone Wolf Comics. If you know Lone Wolf, uh, one of the pillars of the community, runs that Bronx show. Just a great guy. Him and his wife are uh, always super, super cordial to everybody, um, and just, you know, good, good people. So uh, he sold me this Amazing Spider-Man number 306, uh, Todd McFarlane rec Recreation of that um action comic superman cover and then he had these and i couldn't pass them up and these are not the prices he gave them he gave me a nice deal but i picked up sailor moon number three now i had sailor moon number one uh in a 9.6 you guys have seen it uh that thing was one of the first books that sold instantly at the show um so congratulations to the buyer of that he and his missus were super happy with it i was super happy we just a great deal. And I was also able to get Sailor Moon number four. Do not sleep on, you know, I keep saying the video games and the anime books. Um, there's a whole market of people right now who are loving those books. So pick them up. Then uh, I went to Evan Shime. You guys, Evan Shime sells on whatnot. But Evan is also a local guy at, at the shows. And Evan always hooks me up and gives me a great price. We usually bundle stuff together. So I picked up uh, Uncanny X-Men number 131. The White Queen. Uh, this is the first cover, second full appearance of Dazzler. Uh, picked up the iconic issue 137. That's that square bound double uh, double sized issue, uh, Death of the Dark Phoenix. Just classic. And then he had these, and these were really really clean. Um, all of these books will be on future whatnot auctions. Auctions. If you haven't been on my whatnot auctions, stop by. I do buy it nows and. Uh, Saw $3 sales and just do a lot of giveaways. Have a lot of fun. But uh, he had stuff like this. Uh, X-Men number 48. Uh, X-Men number 45. And these are clean copies. Uh, X-Men number 43. That gorgeous Magneto cover. X-Men number 42. Oof, look at that book. That's the Floating Heads bad boy. I've been chasing this book around for years. I, I bought multiples just trying to upgrade this. <clears throat> Issue number 24 is the Locust. Um, I got to tell you, these X-Men, the early X-Men, great covers. And if you're a Silver Age collector, good books to have. But they had some of the worst villains in some, in some of these titles there. No, I mean, you, you do very well when you go Juggernaut and you go Banshee and uh, the, the Sentinels. But then the Locust and... It was. It's not a well well written book until it gets into like the forties, late forties, in there, and then it starts picking up. But then it gets t canceled, and then you know, we get what we get when Claremont takes over. Um, this book here, I got to give a big shout out to my man Steve from Elite Comics, uh, and he and his missus. Uh, Steve had it on his wall. He had a price on there. I asked him if he could negotiate on it. He said it was for me. I said it was. And he gave me the friends and family discount, shall we call it. And Steve hooked me up big time with this book. Um, I had one in my PC and I let it go. Uh, I believe my man Biggie's Comics picked it up. But I'm super happy to get this back in the collection. I picked up uh, Swamp Thing number 37. 
probably a 7.5 copy. Um, very, very small little tear there, and it needs a press. But first full appearance of John Constantine. Just a great, great book to own. And then that's everything I bought, but I do have one more book. End of the show. Show ends at 5 by 4.30. Get a guy walks up. Uh, and he's, it's at, you know, he's looking to sell some books or, or trade. So I said, I'll take a look. And he produces a book to me. And it's a book I have never owned. So I says, okay, uh, interested in this book. I had a Heroes for Hire 1 on the wall that was about a 4.5. And he was interested in that book. He went through the book. I went through this book. This book is probably like a 3.5. 3.0 to a 3.5. I would say more in the 3.0 range. Um, but it's just a great war book. We came to a deal. Uh, we traded for book, book for book. And he put in an additional $50. I think I did well. He was happy with his deal. I don't know how much he had into it. I know what I had into my book. So two happy people made a nice trade. Uh, if anything, I've never had this book. So it, it, it just knocks another one off the list. I'm still torn if I'm going to keep it for the PC or have it up for auction, but, uh, picked up this. Yeah, that is a bad book right there. First reverse flash. Oof. Presents really nice, right? So that, that was the final deal. So deals like that, man, just awesome. Um, unfortunately now I'm not setting up anywhere until King Kong. So you'll be seeing me on whatnot. Plus, I got a couple more surprises coming up for you guys. So please stay tuned to the channel. I appreciate all you guys that come out, show the support. Um, and until the next video, peace.